workouts, and helpful advice. Add this video to your favorites. It will guide you when you train. Next exercise, side step plus leg rotation. Go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Don't arc your back. Keep your abdomen constantly tight. Don't bend your head. Stare at a fixed point in front of you to help. Next exercise, sumo squat, touching the ground. Go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. Be sure not to raise your heels off the floor. Don't bend or arc your back. Keep it constantly straight to avoid problems. Keep your abs tight throughout the workout. Next exercise, side lunges plus front lunges. Go! If you are unable to complete this movement, bend your legs less. Be sure not to bend your torso sideways. Your back should always be perfectly straight. Never exceed the tip of your foot with the knee to avoid damaging the joints. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Keep your abs constantly tight during the exercise to improve balance. Do not touch the ground with the knee of the back leg when you bring down the pelvis. For a better balance, try stretching your arms forward. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, hip abduction on all floors. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Be sure not to rotate the pelvis when you lift the leg to not strain your back. Don't put your knee on the ground when you take down the leg to increase the effectiveness of the exercise. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go! Don't bend or curve your back. Keep your torso parallel to the ground. Don't lift your head. Your neck should remain in line with your back. Try staring at a fixed point on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, donkey kicks crossover. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try the donkey kicks without crossing your legs. Be sure not to curve your back during the movement. Don't put your knee on the ground when you take down the leg in order to keep a constant contraction. Five, four, Three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't turn your hips laterally. Your back must always be very straight. Perform the exercise slowly to maximize the effectiveness. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. 
Next exercise, hip abduction with leg extension. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, don't stretch out the leg. Be sure not to rotate the pelvis when you lift the leg to not strain your back. Don't put your knee on the ground when you take down the leg to increase the effectiveness of the exercise. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go! Don't bend or curve your back. Keep your torso parallel to the ground. Don't lift your head. Your neck should remain in line with your back. Try staring at a fixed point on the floor. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. Next exercise, lying leg kicks. 3, 2, 1, go. If you can't do it, rest your foot on the ground after the kick. Don't turn your back. Keep it always perpendicular to the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't move your back. Your head, shoulders, and pelvis should always be in line. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, side hip abduction with leg at 90 degrees. Three, two, one, Go. If you can't do it, try resting the foot on the ground after turning down the leg. Don't move your back. Place your hand in front of your bust for stabilization. Five, four, three, two, one, switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't turn your head. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you to help. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, post side hip abduction. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try smoothly raising and lowering the leg, creating a wider movement. Don't move your back. Place your hand in front of your bust for stabilization. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't turn your head. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you to help. Five, four, three, two, 
one socket. Water break. Three, two, one, go. Next exercise, side hip abduction. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try resting the foot on the ground after turning down the leg. Don't keep the supporting leg straight. Bend it to have greater stability. Don't stretch out your foot. Keep it constantly flexed. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't move your back. Place your hand in front of your bust for stabilization. Don't turn your head. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you to help. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, pulse side hip abduction. Three, two, one. Go. If you can't do it, try smoothly raising and lowering the leg, creating a wider movement. Don't keep the supporting leg straight. Bend it to have greater stability. Don't stretch out your foot. Keep it constantly flexed. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't move your back. Place your hand in front of your bust for stabilization. Don't turn your head. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you to help. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, side leg rotations. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try doing a simple side hip abduction. Don't keep the supporting leg straight. Bend it to have greater stability. Don't stretch out your foot. Keep it constantly flexed. Five, Four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't move your back. Place your hand in front of your bust for stabilization. Don't turn your head. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you to help. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, adductor leg raises. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try resting your leg on the ground during the descent. Don't bend your back. Your shoulders, torso, and hips should always be aligned. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go.
Don't force the neck by bending your head. Stare at a fixed point in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, side leg rotations. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, perform simple lifts instead of rotating the legs. Be sure not to bend the bust. Your back should be in line with the shoulders and hips. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't bend your head. Try constantly looking one step ahead of you. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, crossing legs on back. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try keeping your legs at 90 degrees and not crossing your feet. Control the leg drop to avoid problems to your adductor. Don't strain your neck. Keep your head still and resting on the floor. Keep your abs tight to avoid injuring the spine. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, leg rotations on back. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, don't make circles, but instead open and close your legs in a crossing motion. Slowly perform the movements to avoid adductor problems. Don't force your neck. Keep your head still and resting on the floor. Keep your abs tight to avoid injuring the spine. Be sure not to bend your legs. Keep them constantly flat. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Water break. Exercise, spinal elongation. Go. Five. 
five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, stretching hamstrings. Go. Don't bend the leg. To achieve the maximum elongation, it must always be well stretched. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, adductor stretching. Go. Always keep your back straight during the exercise. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Try out our full workout plans. More info in the description below.